Space.com. Hi, I'm Rich Bonaducci with Space.com. March 14th, NASA and the National Geographic Channel are collaborating to bring you the first ever live tour of the International Space Station called Live from Space. Today, we're chatting with Soledad O'Brien, host and executive producer of the tour, and she can explain just what it is and what viewers might take away from it. I think they'll have an opportunity, Rich, to see what it's really like to work and live in space from the very mundane aspects of how do you how do you sleep, how do you eat, how do you go to the bathroom, to, to what experiments they're working on and, and what it's like to do a spacewalk and what it's like to do a spacewalk when things go terribly wrong and really how risky and dangerous and exciting the opportunities are for exploring new worlds. So uh, we really want to cover all of that. What are, what's the value uh, that we're getting from what's happening in their experiments and how can we use what they learn here on Earth? So our goal is to tell people about the International Space Station. I think very rarely do people look up you know, 250 miles and think, what are those guys working on? What are those men and women doing at this moment? But they're circling the globe, 90 minutes it takes them to do a full revolution, as you well know. And all that while, they're living and doing regular things, but also doing incredible work as well. And we really want to bring that to people. The video is just phenomenal. The quality is so amazing. I think it'll be really a, a, a time that, that people can be inspired by what's happening really right above their heads. Now, how did you get involved with the project, and why did you ever agree to executive produce what is essentially a show from an orbital television station, 250 miles up, traveling at, like, what, five miles a second? It goes, well, let's see, they can do New York to L.A. in 11 minutes, so it's like 17,500 miles an hour, so really, really, really fast. You know, I gotta tell you, the only thing when they were first talking about it, I was like, so I'm not live from space, right? I am on Earth. <laughs> like, you know, once we covered that, I felt very good about it, and I think it was just fascinating. My children, who never get to stay up late to watch television, will get to stay up late because they know that they can, uh, you know, tweet or or send Instagrams to the, the astronauts and, and, and ask them questions while they're doing the broadcast. I think that's phenomenal. Um, our hashtag for Instagram is hello from Earth and our hashtag for Twitter is live from space and so if you have a question people should just send it and, and hope that um, Rick and Koichi will answer their question during our broadcast. It's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, the logistics are insane. They're insane. <laughs> it is kind of daunting on that front but I've been told it's all going to work out. Okay, you mentioned the value of space exploration earlier. Why do you think the public should be interested in science? I kind of feel like science is being undermined lately, but why should they be interested in something like this and in the uh, International Space Station specifically? You know, I don't think that science being undermined, I think that people don't necessarily understand why. They're not inspired necessarily to study it. I mean, when you look at the numbers of, of girls uh, who are studying science and you look at all the opportunities, you think if kids could be inspired, they would want to. They'd want to know about science so that they could have the opportunity, if they wanted to, to go be Rick and Koichi and work in the International Space Station. That's an amazing thing. And, and the only way to get there is science, you know? And so I think that I think we just need to frame it and, and make them understand everybody, not just children who I think can dream about what they want to be. For people like me who are never going to space ever, we're going to sit and watch it, can still be inspired by some of the amazing things that are, that are happening and that we have supported as a nation for a long time. So I, I think it's just about reframing the issue to make people understand. And, and with the high quality video that we have now, we can really show them what's happening um, for the first time. So it's, it's just spectacular, it's awesome. So if you had a chance to visit the space station, would you take it? You know, I definitely would because I think that I'm the kind of person who hops on a plane and goes somewhere anytime there's an interesting story to go cover. I don't think I would ever pass the physical exam. I just, you know, I can barely do like 45 minutes on the treadmill. So I'm fairly confident that I would not get to go, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to go. I would love to go. All right, thanks, Soledad. Check it out live from space, the first ever live tour of the International Space Station, brought to you by NASA and the National Geographic Channel. You can get involved too, hashtag hello from Earth and hashtag live from space. Rich, you bet. Thanks for having me. For space.com, I'm Rich Bonaducci. Space.com.